while Northerners want to cause war and deaths for Nigerians, Asari Dokubo reacted. Mujida Asari Dokubo, the former leader of the Niger Delta Empacication Movement, has raised the alarm about the recent effects of COVID-19 in Nigeria. Dokubo criticized on Sunday evening in video material the migration of Northerners to the south because of the spread of the COVID-19 in the region in which several people were killed. According to him, the North came with destruction, war and death in his words. It is scary that they come here. They change the, demo, the demography. What do they come for? You remember Usman Danfodia, how they got to Sokoto, Gobiri Kano, Kestina, Bida, and what happened? They replaced the original people and took over the rhymes of, of people of power. We are coming. History will repeat itself if we do not act fast and now. You are not doing so. We are not moving, making any move. You are coming with war, destruction, and deaths. Asari Dokubo, a well-known pro-secessionist, emphasized that this was the time for strategy, consultation, and meetings, and added that our survivor is at stake. Be wise and shine your eyes. Hmm. Viewers, I'm very, I'm very, um, I, I, I so much trust what Asari Dokubo had just said. That is the plan. That is the plan of, um, those are the plans of the Northerners. They have been looking for one way or the other to destroy um, the country. They are looking for one thing or the other to do to bring down the country. I don't know what their plans, uh, what the, 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 the reason why they, they are doing this. If they have been bribed by other countries or China, we don't know. We don't know what uh, the meaning or the reason why they want to destroy and cause war in Nigeria. I don't know why. I don't know why they are doing this. The South, South should uh, all come together and kill the Northerners. They should kill the Northerners secretly. Both the shoemaker and the beggars, no one should be left out because they pretend to be begging. They pretend to be working for you. But what is in their mind is evil. They are wicked. The Northerners are wicked to the extent that they don't say things. When you tell them anything, they will never respond. But when they, 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 they execute their plans, you will be surprised that, ah, wow. But this person doesn't look or see or did not show that he has this evil agenda in him. What they do, what they go about with is knife. Whenever they are being hurt, they don't, they don't even get sorry. The next thing is to just act by stabbing or killing anybody that offends them. Yes, history had established that Awusa's Fulanese are not to be trusted. Never. They come gently. They pretend um, fully and they deceive fully. Immediately, you accept and accommodate them thinking that their face, which is innocent, is, uh, we will not, we cannot hurt anybody. Before you know it, they strike and label you. Isn't that evil? Why do they do that? Why are they doing this? They are so much wicked to the extent that they don't even have conscience. They love killing. They will tell you that if their leader says, if they kill anybody on heads or Christians, that their reward is in heaven. Their, their mission is to destroy all Christians on this planet. Why that? Are we sure that these people are Muslims? I asked a friend 
if their God says anybody that kills will enter the kingdom of God, if Muslim friend said it's all lies, that those ones saying that they are not Muslim, maybe they are, they are serving um, um, the devil, not God that we know. Because I see no reason why some God or God that we, 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 we believe Muslims and Christians serve will be so wicked to telling his children to kill and to do evil. Because my own God, our God, the Christian, uh, the God of Christians does not do evil, does not support evil. He's not a, a God that kills. He's not a God that should repent, neither the son of man that should or oh, that, that that should uh, uh, commit sin no that is not the kind of person he is so i wonder why they are saying all this that if someone dies or if you kill someone your reward is in heaven with what asari dokumbo has said they will never change they will only oh uh, they will only change portacos to ports usman damphodia from uh, Ikwere to Fulani Kwere from um, Rumola to Yaro Ola from Rumo Koro to uh, Rumu Asokoro. That is what they do. They will only succeed in dealing with the goats from the south that they have been shepherd. The likes of Amechi and the royal Mumus that calls themselves royal fathers. As for the layman, we have, we have what it takes to deal with them. And that is our collective willpower. The Southerners and the Easterners should come together and deal with these people so that their plans will not be executed. If they can be dealt with then we will conquer them. Asari Dokubo, it appears that he is not in support of them. That is why he's coming out to say this that he said. That is it. Asari Dokubo is high time that you and Enabi Kanu settles your differences. You people are brothers and you know that because all ill for Biafran. Let's stop this movement before it consumes us all. Let Asari Dokumbo and Inabi Kanu come together and tackle this issue together. If they can come together and solve this issue in peace, then I'm very much sure that this issue will be solved totally. But with spreading of two leaders doing the way or doing things on their own, I'm very much sure that things, this can never be solved. But when they come together and bring ideas together, I'm very much sure that peace will be in the country. Peace will start ravaging in this country. Then those that, are, that, 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 want, that, that have always wanted these people to have misunderstanding, that want these people to separate, to keep having grudge against each other because they don't want Bihafran to gain its repentance in its republic. That is why they are causing mehek among uh, Unamdi Kanu and uh, Dokumbo. So as what I've said before, if they can come together and plan this by destroying these people, the Northern and Fulanese and Boko Haram, X-Men, I'm very much sure that they will all around peace in this country and they will have no choice than to give Biafran what they want. They will have no choice than give Nambi Kanu what he wants, what he has always struggled for, and they will become one and there will be peace in Biafran land and Nigeria. So viewers, this is all I have to say concerning what Asari Dokumbo has said, that the Northerners are coming with destruction, war and death, and they are ready for them. They are ready to confront them in any way if they want war. But they will not succeed over our lives in Jesus' name. So your comment is very needed. 
drop them below the comment box click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive updates whenever i publish new videos and don't forget share and like this news as well thank you